Let's introduce our latest product, the TS Mine Rinse Wise Spin Mop with separate clean and dirty water. Now, let's take a closer look at what's inside the package. Firstly, you'll find a three section mop handle along two bucket handles each labeled to indicate the correct orientation for installation. These handles interlock seamlessly, providing an ergonomic and easy to handle design. Additionally, you'll find an instruction manual one mop head. The quantity may vary based on your purchase. A mop base two valve and two liftable tanks, one for rinsing and the other for spin drying. Okay, moving to the large bucket section. This side is designated for dirty water, while the other side is for clean water. It features a water pump for dispensing clean water, a water guide trough, and a clean water suction tube. Now, Let's proceed with the installation of the two bucket handles as previously mentioned. Ensure that the label side faces upward and align the handle parallel to the top of the bucket. You'll notice small holes with two notches. Align the handle's protrusions with these notches and firmly press them in. There are a total of four of these and the installation method remains consistent for all. With that, your setup is complete and you'll notice its sleek design. Note that the bucket comes in various color options. Also, take a look at the four hidden wheels at the bottom, making it effortless to move on a smooth surface. That covers the bucket portion. Now let's discuss the mop handle. First, let's address the mop base. No need to worry. It can be rotated to any angle and it's built to last. This is a three section handle. The first section connects to the mop base. During installation, remove this section. Slide it onto the mop handle, then insert it into the bottom of the mop base, sliding it up and tighten it securely to ensure it won't detach easily. Once installed, it's easy to adjust the angle. Subsequently, you'll install the second and third sections. For detailed instructions on installing the mop handle, please refer to the video description below. Once the mop handle is installed, it can be extended up to 61 inches, allowing you to comfortably mop without bending over. Please take note of the locking latch on the mop handle. When cleaning and spin drying the mop, ensure it is unlocked to allow free rotation. Next, let's move on to installing the mop head. Align it as shown. Press it firmly by hand or use your foot to press it down until you hear a click. You can adjust its angle as needed, even to reach under furniture. Now, let's delve into a demonstration of how to use this clean and dirty water separation spin mop bucket. First, we have the dehydration tank and the rinse tank. This side is for storing clean water, while this side is for dirty water. For your initial use, we recommend filling both the rinse tank and fresh water tank with water. In the rinse tank, you'll find a water level line which is called the OWL. Whether it's your initial fill up or subsequent water pumping, avoid exceeding this line. Now add water to the fresh water tank. It can hold up to two gallons of clean water when full. After filling, place the dehydration tank back in position. You can place the mop head directly into the rinse tank for cleaning. If the water level in the rinse tank isn't sufficient, adjust it as necessary. Alternatively, you can use the mop handle to pump water from the fresh water tank like this. Pay attention to the water pumping valve. Keep it on while pumping. A few gentle rotations of the mop will transfer the cleaning water to the rinse tank. Now you can use it for rinsing. After rinsing, move the mop to the dehydration tank. Before spinning, check the rinse tank to see if there's very little or no water left. Keep the water pumping valve on 
and the drain valve off. Now let's spin dry the mop and you'll see the water being guided back into the rinse tank through the water pump. Avoid exceeding this line. After spin drying, you can mop the floor again. Remember to adjust the lock on the mop handle as needed, either on or off. Once you've finished mopping, rinse the mop head again. After rinsing, give it another spin dry. Before spinning, check the rinse tank to see if there's very little or no water left. Adjust the drain valve as needed to on or off. You might be wondering how many times you can rinse the mop head with the water inside the bucket? Well, based on our tests, it's approximately 4 to 7 times, depending on the amount of water you pump into the rinse tank each time. Now, Let's switch gears and show you how to use it as a traditional mop bucket. It's actually quite straightforward. Simply remove this rinse chamber. You can rinse and spin dry in the same chamber, just as you're accustomed to. And you'll find it functions just like a regular mop bucket. Since we've already filled this tank with water, you can place the mop head in there for rinsing. And then move it to the dehydration tank. Since we filled the clean water tank earlier for this traditional use, remember to switch off the water pumping function. As you can see, when you spin dry, the water is guided back into this tank through the water guide trough. After spin drying, mop the floor, then return to rinse the mop head in this tank. Repeat the spin drying process as before and continue mopping. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Once you're done with this mode, you can reattach the rinse tanks. Don't forget to switch the pump valve back on. With just a few simple steps, it transforms back into the latest and dirty water separation mop bucket. One bucket, two modes. That concludes our demonstration and explanation. You'll find our contact information below. If you have any questions during use, do not hesitate to reach out. We sincerely appreciate you sharing this product with your family and friends. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.